Hello Aquarius, I hope you're doing well. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Aquarius, you want a soulmate reading to check out on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video whether you're currently in contact with them or not. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Aquarius, for Aquarius highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aquarius in their life and how is Aquarius currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Aquarius in their life and how is Aquarius currently doing on their soulmate journey? Extra message, very important. Wow, this is you. Holding on to your relationship. Yeah, this relationship with your soulmate that you still love is very important to you. Um, <clears throat> the two of you have been through a lot of emotional roller coasters, disappointments, but all in all, uh, you recognize that this person is very important to you. You love them. You're still holding on uh, to this relationship. <clears throat> yeah, you feel extremely connected with them emotionally, spiritually. Past life connection showing up here. Let's see. Universe, please show us. You're showing up here with a lot of wisdom. Great intuition. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aquarius and how is Aquarius currently doing on their summit journey? Wow. Yeah, you feel it's hard for you to communicate with them, like mm, communication doesn't come easily to this person in this relationship. You feel like you have to really work hard to engage them in communication with you like they hold back and not really uh expressive emotionally actually at this time you feel uh, available you don't feel in a relationship with this person you feel like you are like even if you are in a relationship with them at this time you feel alone in this relationship so basically you feel available not in a relationship the back is turned towards you and they're showing up as an emperor very proud um set in their ways uh, difficult to show uh, that they are emotionally vulnerable yeah you feel stressed you feel that you put much more work effort energy time into this relationship than they have like you feel they're not meeting you halfway in this relationship for some reason you're trying to figure out is this going to be the end of this relationship or a new chapter something will improve because you still love this person yeah you are very intuitive it's showing up again so you are highly intuitive aware you read people well you read energy well you really want this relationship to work out. You are wishing for this person to meet you halfway, but you're worried. You're worried that maybe this is going to be the end. And the reason why you're worried, because you love them. You still love this person, but you feel like things will need to greatly improve for this relationship to progress. This is you also recognizing uh, something to do with your family members that you um letting go of certain family members um you feel like you don't have enough in common uh, with certain family members like you need to make some kind of changes in relationships in family relationships yeah you see this is how you view your soulmate uh emperor and knight of wands kind of in and out of your life not really meeting you halfway for some reason Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aquarius and how is Aquarius currently doing on their summit journey. Wow, my two favorite cards showed up together. Beautiful combination. 
the sun and the star. You feel this is your ultimate soulmate, that you've put so much work, effort, energy, love into this relationship. You really don't want to lose this relationship, that you wish they would meet you halfway. This shows me that two of you have spent many lifetimes together, past lifetimes, yeah. Yeah, you see, this is you very intuitive. Also, problem with communication showing up again. Oh, some kind of changes at your job. Your job is showing up here. Yeah. Something you're going to find out unexpectedly. And I think it's going to make you happy. Yeah. This is something that's kind of wanting to be hidden. But you're going to find something out. Some kind of information of importance to you uh, is going to be available. And you're going to find out something that is going to make you change something and it's going to make you happy yeah so you shine at what you do Aquarius you are diligent worker whether you work for somebody else or for yourself you are a pro at what you do beautiful and you use your intuition yeah you always use your intuition beautiful now let me see what's going on with that soulmate of yours universe please show us What's going on currently with that soulmate of Aquarius? And how is that soulmate of Aquarius towards Aquarius at this time, especially emotionally? What's going on? This one wants to show up as extra message. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Aquarius? And how is that soulmate of Aquarius towards Aquarius at this time, especially emotionally? Two extra messages for some reason. This one was the first one. Wow, they do love you a lot. Ten of Cups, they do love you. The same card you had in first position. But this is them feeling sad, heartbroken, um, unable to communicate with you about what's really going on internally with them, what they're thinking, feeling. It's like uh, there is problem with communication. They do recognize that. Yeah, so they know some kind of drastic changes will need to happen, some kind of improvement for this relationship to thrive, to have a new beginning. They do recognize that. There's something they need to talk to you about, like express, first and foremost, express how they really feel, what they're thinking, what they're planning. Hmm. Yeah, you see? Um, they worry about finances. Yeah, this is them worrying about finances moving forward. Um, they feel a great need to express to you uh, what they've been thinking, feeling, but it's like communication doesn't come so easily to them. You see this? Um, like this person is more task-oriented than people-oriented, meaning... They don't express emotions that easily. Um, and they, when they do communicate, they just communicate like bare minimum that they feel they need to communicate. Let's see. Universe, please show us. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Aquarius? And how's that soulmate of Aquarius towards Aquarius at this time, especially emotionally? Like something they're not telling you, like something they're withholding, maybe because they feel they need to protect you or maybe they don't feel it concerns you. Yeah, you see, they feel this is about decisions, 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 decisions. Two of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords. The only two that's missing is Two of Cups, which means they don't really express to you how they feel. They know that... They're, they are at a crossroads that major changes, decisions will need to be made. They're not telling you something. Something that is bothering them, that they're holding on to quietly, not really expressing to you. This is them needing to communicate with you effectively, right? To uh, For you to understand them and their behavior, right? <sighs> 
This person is trying to figure out how to balance their energy, what to do next, how to handle this correctly. Yeah, they are very connected with you. So here is the star card again, this time from smaller tarot deck. This person feels enormously connected with you emotionally, spiritually. Yeah. Yeah, silence is showing up here. They're really not telling you how they feel, what they're thinking, what they're planning. Um, this is them feeling like they need a long time to go within, to reflect, uh, to make wise decisions moving forward. Like they need a long time. Yeah, like something is purposely hidden from you. You see this? Maybe they're trying to protect you because they love you, but I think we all know that secrets only uh, get in the way of relationships, right? We need to be able to be honest with ourselves and people we are in relationships with, right? Because eventually secrets will come out, right? Sooner or later, they will surface. Yeah, this person thinks of you very highly. Yeah, very fabulous empress energy to describe you. This person has a lot of respect for you, loves you. But there's something that they need to talk to you about that is of great concern to them. They also worried about finances moving forward, money heavily weighing on their mind. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Aquarius. Yeah, they are very connected with you lovers. Major Arcana number six. Yeah, money showing up here again. Somehow they have financial concerns. Yeah, you see, kind of in and out of your life. So Knight of Wands, they, they recognize that things will need to drastically improve for the better for this relationship to go to the next chapter, right? To blossom, right? To flourish. Uh, Knight of Wands is kind of wishy-washy energy, like they in and out, uh, not really committing, not expressing emotions. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's some kind of financial worries keep popping up here. And other people also trying to find out about this relationship. What's going on? Yeah. Wow, Aquarius. This person loves you a lot. But communication definitely needs to improve for the two of you to figure out whether there is a continuation, new chapter, or the two of you are going to say goodbye and uh, go each other's way, right? Um, wow. So we're going to go into your extended reading. We're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate entering your life. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life. Also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Aquarius, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.